This is P. Walpar. It's January the 8th, 2012. Today I'm going to do a bit of blogging. Today I thought I'd talk about the, the great tire scam I experienced this week. At least that's what I consider it. I had a... I went to go rail fanning the other day. Since this camera's pointed at the road. I had to go to town and get an ankle brace for my wife because she fell down the steps and sprained her ankle. I tried to tell her she's getting too old for that running up and down the steps like a teenager. But anyway, I was going rail fanning the other day and decided I better check the tire and my air pressure in my tires and I backed up to the garage and got out my air hose and compressor and walked around the vehicle when I discovered I had a bad tire on the back of my car. One of the tires was separating and coming apart. So, well, I gotta have some new tires. Well, like anybody else, I called around trying to find the best price in town on tires. And there ain't no good prices to be had on tires with this big monster. But the best price quoted me by the local, uh, we'll call it Wally Mart or something of that nature. I won't use their exact name. But they got these big super stores all over the country and try to outdo everybody else's price. But I never considered the fact that they might be lying about what their great prices are. Most of the places I call wanted like $150, $160 a tire. Well, they advertised the fact that well, they told me they had some tires for $72. Yes, is that a good tire? Yeah. Okay, I'm coming down there to get some. You got some in stock? Yeah, we got seven up in stock. Well, that was the first lie. And I should have known something was up when they asked me, have you priced any tires lately? I said, well, that's what I'm doing now, calling you and pricing tires. Went on down the road, got to them. Sat around in their waiting room for Oh, a good hour and a half, two hours. They come in there, rung me up, said, okay, you ready to go? Oh, that's great. I got out my little credit card, going to pay for it. And the lady, without betting an eye, said, that'll be $883. Here I am trying to save a few bucks. I said, no, heck, it won't neither, $883. Who are you kidding? I asked you twice what the price of these things was, and you told me it's $72 and so much to balance them and install them. They don't add up to $883 in my book. Well, their tires are $189 a piece. Well, got to check and found out they put the wrong tires on the car. The fact was, they didn't have four tires the size that people said they were going to put on here. I said, that won't do. I ain't got that kind of money to be spending today. I'll tell you what you do. Where, where is them $72 tires? Well, we got three of them. Well, you told me you had seven. Well, put two of them $72 tires on the back of my vehicle, because that's where the tires separate, and I can't leave here with, with a bad tire. So it was another two hours waiting while they piddled around working on my car. Finally got two of the right kind of tires and two of my old tires put back on the vehicle. I think you, can't you go to another local store and get the other tires so we'll have a full set? No, no, can't do that. That's a deleted tire, discontinued tire. What it boils down to is to get more money out of it. It's the same quality tire. They changed the number or the grade on it or the initials or something. Maybe little fancier tread or something and jack the price up double. The tires I got on here are perfect now. But anyway, the big headache from tires. I said, well, I don't want to drive around with two new tires and two old tires. I was already riding a lot better. I'll go to another one of these kind of stores. I got online and looked them all up in my general area and called several of them. Some of them didn't have the tire in stock. Some of them said, yeah, we got one coming tomorrow. We got two in stock. And one about 40 miles away in Riverdale said, yeah, we got two in stock. 
I said, I'm going to be up there in the morning. You're going to put, put them on the front of my truck. Said, they are $72. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll be right on down there. <laughs> Got up early for a change. Drove down there and set it down to Markford for uh, a while. They finally said, okay, we located two tires. I looked double checked him and it wasn't the same kind of tread. I said, wait a minute, make sure you got the same kind of tires here. And they weren't. They were the $189 tires. They determined they're going to get me for some money. I said, no, no, it ain't going to work that way. You told me you had to. And he looked and looked and finally found one. Well, I said, I know where there's another one. There's one at the Griffin store. I'm beginning to get ill by now. Sell me that $172 tire, throw it in the back of my car, and I'm leaving here. Went on down the road back to my Walmart down here in Griffin where they had to do two rear tires. Wally Mart, I can't say. And um, they dug up their third tire that they had and dragged it out. Another two and a half hours just sitting down there and waiting to get them put on. Got ready to check out. She said that'll be two hundred and thirty-nine dollars. I said, "Oh, you put on with one tire. I brought one down here with me, and the other one's seventy-two dollars. You ain't charging me two hundred thirty-nine dollars for two tires." Oh, we forgot to mark it down or something. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, the regular price. All of a sudden, she was saying the regular price was one hundred ninety-nine. Well, that ain't the way it works in my book. You tell somebody one thing, that's the way it's going to be. He finally got the manager out there and they got the price the way I wanted it and I left there with four new tires on my car. But it turned into a real headache to save a few bucks to get new tires on my vehicle. So you can't believe what some of these people tell you when they say they got it. And I got to thinking about it. They knew they didn't have them tires in stock when I went down there. The idea is to get you in the store get you obligated to them and they're going to sell you whatever kind of tire they want. So, got to double check behind these people. Anyway, I thought I'd moan and groan about that today. My weekend, last few days of this week was a pain in the neck to me. Get none of my rail fanning done. I'm behind on just about all my chores. That's what I call the the great tire scam. Thanks for listening to me ramble on. Maybe I'll see a train while I'm over here. I think I better get that ankle bracelet and get it on home though. This is old Pete Ballpark signing off.